Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here, and looking at the f fun is what we're having. Welcome to the seventh installment of Strange Pokémon Physics. This week we'll be taking it back to Hoenn and looking at the majestic flying bedsheet that's been the subject of way too much fan art. Gardevoir. Gardevoir is a psychic fairy type introduced in the third generation. Many of its Pokédex entries state that it has the ability to create a small black hole in order to protect its trainer. For those of you who aren't familiar with the concept of a black hole, I'll inform you now that this power is by far the most insane I've ever discussed on SPP. Before I dive too deep into this, let me give you a quick crash course on black holes. Black holes are regions of space-time that are so incredibly massive and have such a strong gravitational pull that once something is within their event horizon, nothing can escape it. Not even light. Black holes are incredibly, incredibly dense. If Gardevoir just created one little one, what would happen? In a Nutshell actually has a great video explaining what exactly would happen if a black hole the size of a coin appeared next to you, and I recommend you watch it after you finish this video. Since it explains it so well, I won't go into too much detail about what would happen, but to summarize, a black hole with the diameter of a coin would have a mass about the same as Earth's, and it would just proceed to swallow it up and then orbit around the sun like Earth did before it was eaten. But they also talk about if the black hole had the same mass as a coin. Black holes emit Hawking radiation, which is black body radiation that slowly decreases the mass of the black hole for a while before it eventually blows up. They use a mass of 5 grams, meaning that the black hole would be far, far, far smaller than an atom, and using this big ugly formula, they calculated that the black hole would radiate away in 10 to the negative 23rd seconds. Using Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, which means that the energy in a mass is equal to that mass times the speed of light squared, they calculated that when this black hole radiates away its entire mass, it explodes, releasing 450 terajoules of energy. That explosion would be three times bigger than the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. Stop it, you fiend! I will protect my trainer! Thanks, Gardevoir! By blowing all of us up! Wait, hold on. So Gardevoir is able to create an absurdly large amount of energy in the form of a Mondo explosion. There's no way for us to convert that explosive energy into useful energy, but if there was, what would Gardevoir be capable of doing with just that one incredibly microscopic black hole? Well, 450 terajoules is enough to power the average American home for 11,434 years, a smartphone for 125 million years, and a car getting 25 miles per gallon, 92.5 million miles, which is around the distance to the sun. But could it power interstellar travel? Well, kind of. Mark Millis, former head of NASA's Breakthrough Propulsion Physics Project and founder of the Tau Zero Foundation, calculated that a ship carrying 500 passengers on a 75-year one-way journey would require an exajoule. That is 10 to the 18th power joules, which is just slightly less than the amount of energy that the entire Earth uses in a year. Dividing that by 450 terajoules means that Gardevoir would have to create 2,222 of its 5 gram black holes to power deep space flight. So, I think Gardevoir could do that. That's one black hole every 12 days, so I think Gardevoir is probably capable of that. You know, as long as it doesn't blow the entire ship up. So there we have it. Gardevoir's black holes can just destroy stuff. But if we could harness the energy from the really minuscule ones, it would go a long way in solving the energy crisis. Maybe that's why the power plant in Kanto was abandoned. Because Gardevoir was discovered. What'd you think of this video? Did you learn something? What are some other Pokemon you want to see on SPP? Let me know in the comments below! And if you like this video, be sure to hit like, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and subscribe if you haven't. Alright, that's all I have for now, so thank you guys so much for 150,000 subscribers. Until next time, Pokefans. Gotta catch them all!